Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. My name is Abdul Karim Alias. In this video, I would like to share one one of my favorite tool called Jim. As you can see on the screen here, it's actually a screen capture tool, meaning that you can use this tool to capture anything on the screen as a static image and you can save it as um, as an image and then you can use this image in your powerpoint slide in your document and so on i've been using jing for a long time actually there are many options available many applications or tools available as a to, to capture your screen but jing from TechSmith has been around for a long time and I understand actually in a few months time, they will update this. I mean, Jing probably will be obsolete and they will update with a new application called Screencast. But anyway, they is still uh, usable until they update with a new application. So um, first we have to go to Jing uh, website. You just Google Jing TechSmith. Then you will come to this website. And there's an announcement about um, in a few months' time they will up they will update uh, or they will uh, replace Jing with another tool. Um, so so to use Jing, we have to download uh, from the website. You can just download and install. It's very simple and quick installation. Once you download it and launch the application it will uh, ask you to place the the jing application at the corner of your screen so in this case i choose to install it or place it at the top right hand corner in my on my screen as you can see here when you don't want to use it it will be kind of hidden you can see it's like a sun um, you know a sun shining at one corner of your screen when you want it you can just bring your cursor there and this will appear and let's say i want to capture let's say you know anything on the screen anything um okay i want to show to my student for example one only this section and i want to say something about it then i just Click the cursor here, and then you can see there's a crosshair, the line, two line, yellow line, the vertical and the horizontal. So I'll just bring the cursor to one corner here, or, uh, or the capture from this corner, and just drag, let's say about that, and then let go. Then you can see additional menu down here, and this is to capture the image. You just click capture. And then you can save it to your computer or you can copy and insert straight away into your slide or into your document. I prefer to save it because maybe later on I can use it again. Or if I don't like it or I made a mistake, I can delete it. And before I save it, usually I want to annotate it or put some labels or instruction or arrow uh, on, this, on this image. So these are some of the simple tool you can use um, it's already here by default so this maybe you want to uh, this is actually an arrow which you can use to indicate something on on the on the picture then uh, there is a shape which you can use to let's say to indicate anything on the picture then you can add text something like that then you can drag it you can adjust the size okay and uh, you can also uh, use the highlighter to highlight any section let's say you want to uh, hide certain element and you can change the color here something like that then, uh, if you're happy, you can save it to your computer. 
and give a name. And then save it in the folder or anywhere on your in your computer and click save it. Save and capture, save and click OK. So that's all a very simple uh, tool called Jing, which uh, to me is a very, very uh, important tool for me. Uh, when I capture the screen to prepare uh, content for my course or for my online course, I use a lot of screen capture and this tool is become handy and almost indispensable for me. So that's all for this uh, video. Thank you for listening.